All right. Hi, guys. Um, so, yeah, eight days to go. Um, I'll probably do some updating in the middle of this video. But, uh, yeah, I, uh, as you may have seen from an earlier status, uh, I bought some chocolate. Uh, I now have 4p left, which probably isn't going to be spent. Um, but, uh, yeah, the chocolate will be to use up some of my leftover cornflakes and uh, we'll do some really quick cornflake cakes. So, yeah, I will swivel you guys around. There we go. The most basic ingredients going. Uh, no pun intended because they are some sort of basics. But I got uh, one bar of milk, one bar of dark chocolate. Uh, those were 50p each in Sainsbury's uh, and the cornflakes that I've had since day one. Uh, so, yeah, there's not really a lot in this recipe, so I can talk to you in the meantime. Literally melt the chocolate, add the cornflakes, put into the silicon mould with some cling film in it, just to stop it from sticking. But, uh, yeah, it's been, uh, it's been a good few weeks since I last uh, videoed. Uh, Coming into the home stretch now, uh, which means I'm actually getting more and more limited on ingredients, but uh, also getting closer to the end now. Um, I am so grateful to all of you. Uh, the fact that we've already passed the £500 mark, uh, and there's still, I reckon, some time to go, uh, not to mention those that are waiting for the end of the month to donate. So, uh, yeah, it's it's been great. Um, <laughs> yeah, and to Antonio, that's uh, it's not strictly true. Well, I haven't baked in years, but uh, thought I'd give it a go just to use these up because I haven't really been it's it's bad really, but I still haven't broken my habit of not really having breakfast. Uh, probably because I've been working quite intensely on a uni course anyway, and I've been trying to get that over and done in mornings. So I've pretty much been cracking on with that rather than getting food and then rewarding myself with lunch. Well, so this will hopefully make up for it. Uh, also, never use medium mode on this microwave, uh, so this is going to be a bit of a guessing game. But we'll see how this goes. So yeah, you can see all in there. We'll do some uh, good old-fashioned stirring as it goes along. But uh, yeah, let's blitz this on medium. Uh, a minute to start with, I'll go 40 seconds because this microwave is a bit powerful. Uh, I suppose it's what uh, whatever you take as the context for uh, for years, really. Um, it's good what I've actually baked, but. Yeah, well, it's been, it's been a while even since I've done any any desserts or anything, but the more conventional, like some more cake baking or whatever, I've yeah, not done in a fair while, so might be a bit rusty at this. But, uh, yeah, well, I'm, I'm hoping the microwave won't set off the fire alarms. Um, I can I do have fire just in case, but uh, let's see how it goes. Okay, yeah. We're still mostly intact there. Keep it going. This uh, this might get a bit repetitive to start with, uh, for which I apologise. But uh, we'll soldier on. Try my best not to burn the chocolate. Otherwise, that's just going to get impractical. Even that was nearly a year. Oh, hang on. Last Easter, that was nearly a year and a half ago that I, that I baked the waffle berry, but uh, yeah. The point still stands, I don't do this often, this is the first time I've baked in this one. So, uh, for anyone watching on YouTube, uh, I'm doing this live on Facebook, so I'm getting comments coming through that I'm responding to, if you're wondering why the heck I'm coming up with random tangents like that. Uh, the milk seems to be melting a lot quicker first, I don't know if that's just because it's at the bottom of the bowl. We shall see, hopefully that won't compromise anything. <laughs> see everyone watching, it's just a, a game to see how quickly it, it goes before things go horribly wrong. Which, you know, it's, I, can, I can get that, that's, that's fair. Mm. 
so yeah, as always, I'd uh, encourage people to have a shimmy around. Go to the Facebook page. Go to the uh, pinned post. You'll have the. Uh, I've actually got to update the food diary for a couple of days' worth now, but uh, you'll see a mostly intact uh, food diary there. Uh, just show you the current state of things. A lot of solid pieces, but some bits are beginning to melt. But yeah, um, the food diary, uh, the full budget, so you can check I've not cheated. Uh, I've got subsequent statuses that have all the receipts. Uh, so again, it'll tie up to the prices on the spreadsheet. You know me, I'm reliable with my spreadsheets. Uh, <laughs> but yeah, uh, all the donation links are there. Any information links, uh, including a few poverty statistics websites uh, that I was citing in my first video. Uh, the websites to the charities themselves, if you want to have a look at their work. Uh, yeah, I've, I've actually made this uh, last week a bit harder for myself because I'm deliberately being a bit more repetitive with meals. Uh, partly for the power of conserved ingredients, but it means that every other day I'm having pasta and every other day my lunch is identical. Uh, for this closing stretch, it's really starting to melt now. Hopefully just two or three more of those will do the job. So yeah, and uh, please feel free to share the pages around on your respective timelines, Facebooks, Twitters, etc. Um, really been appreciating everyone who has been. Um, and yeah, more, more word we can get out, the uh, more likely people are to see my stuff, whether they donate or not to different things. But um, even people just seeing this, I hope it kind of inspires people to have a look into these things. And I would say it has been a very rewarding challenge to do if anyone's contemplating doing this. It has been a very worthwhile experience for me. Uh, do another 10 seconds just to uh, get the final lumps out. That should do the job. Now we'll go for it. Actually start it. Uh, there we go. It's going to be entirely guesswork as to how big a portion this makes. I'm literally just doing it in one square uh, when film mine silicon mould that you will see in a minute. But uh, there we go, nice and smooth now. I have no idea how many conflicts this mix will make, so I guess we will find out. Now, try to work out where we're doing this. The spoon's just going to get in the way. Side for a second. Because there's no way of doing this aesthetically and practically, so we'll do bits one at a time. Out. And we'll just keep following them in. Kind of see how much gets coated by this amount as well. Kind of judge how much it needs adding. badly with this. Yeah, cornflake cakes, it's been coming on for decades since I uh, since I last did these. 
Uh, the advantage of having these means that I was only having desserts every other day, but uh, this can now serve in a dessert slot, which one of them might actually be tonight. We'll uh, see how well or not this sets before I do that. So, let's transfer a few things. I'll put the cornflakes back now. Guys over there, nothing burnt just yet. Uh, so yeah, as you can see, cling film lined. Uh, the stove's not on, so I'm not going to worry about it suddenly melting. But uh, probably get a couple more cornflakes in there actually. More than merrier. Uh, and uh, none of the food that's left at the end of the month will be wasted. Um, if it's something I want, I'll have it. Uh, any mixed veg left, which I won't want because it's disgusting, that will be donated to my parents' dog because uh, she loves the stuff uh, and the family will probably get the cornflakes that are left over to be honest, which I'm sure they will be absolutely fine with. Right. Get a knife so it doesn't look completely disgusting. Then out a bit. So it's just a nicer shape, makes it easier to divide later on. Yeah, that should easily make four nice slices, which is exactly how many I was aiming for. So that's always nice. So yeah, these are going to the fridge. <laughs> So yeah, I'll uh, let those set and then I will post the pictures on the page later. So uh, yeah, hope, hope you all enjoyed. Uh, if anyone has any questions or anything, feel free to leave them either in the comments or shoot a message or anything like that. Um, but yeah, I will see you soon guys, okay?